Hello, everybody. Welcome to Aizu Wakamatsu in Fukushima Prefecture. This is on the west side of Fukushima. That is Tsurugajo. This is a beautiful castle here with a lot of history. We actually have a guide that is going to tell us some things in, his, in English. She started, how you doing everybody? She started already and I was like, wait, you know what? I should be live streaming this because this is really good information to share with everybody. Let me just show you this map here so it gives you an idea of uh, what the castle looks like. Uh, Tsurugajo is the name of it in English. In a, uh, right there, it's written in English, but that's the, that's the name of this castle, not Aizu Wakamatsu Castle. And uh, it does have a very good hist very long history, very interesting history. There's a moat around it. Right in the center is Tsurugajo right there. I love that the fact that the, these maps are bilingual, trilingual, in fact. And uh, we have about 20 minutes, so it's not a lot of time, but I, I, I think it's a pretty good opportunity to see a Japanese castle with an English guide. You can already see the, the walls are here and the guide, hey Danny, thanks for that. The, the walls are narrow here and, and because the enemy had to come in here, uh, they had to make these turns and that, that helped with the castle's defense. Just little teeny details of it are so interesting. On a nice day here in Fukushima. Oh, there's our guide over there. She keeps talking about the enemy. She's got a lot of stories about the enemy. That's nice to have a, an, an English guide. But these walls here, like everything has a purpose to it, including little cracks where she said like archers were in there, um, like sniping the enemy that went by. Some evil stuff going on here. All right, let's go take a look at, let's go, t let's go find our guide. Uh-oh. Oh, does this have some history too? This, this, this is the Inari Shrine, and the Inari Shrine is usually for the uh, success of business and prosperity. Uh, and when they come, this flag is an uh, offer tree. So they buy this flag and uh, play for the happiness of the family or success of the business, this red flag. Ah, oh, the red flag there. <laughs> red for blood. Yes, because the enemy would come here yes, 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 and there would be yes. battles to the death. <laughs> so they picked red for blood. I don't, mm. I just made that up to Ando, spice it up a little bit. So bought this flag and offered. Ah, uh, Ando-san. Mm. Do you know Ando-san? No, I don't know. Oh, you don't know him? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. So I'm going to give you the full inside story. Everything that I say is suspect of, uh, so you might want to double check your facts. But if she says it, you don't have to double check it. She's an actual guide, so it means something. But, ah, so, could, so now we have, we have some people watching here about uh, Tsurugajo right here. What are some of the things that people should know about this? We missed your, uh, missed your uh, information oh, in yes. the beginning. This Tsurugajo was first uh, built 630 years ago, but it was just a small building without a castle tower. But uh, this style building was completed in 430 years ago. And uh, at first it was five, uh, seven story, but uh, later there was the earthquake. It got damaged and remodeled into five story. And this foundation was built 400 years ago. Uh, they put the stones and made. And this is original, but it survived the big earthquake 400 wow. years ago. How big was it, the magnitude? A magnitude 6.9. 6 6 6.9, 400 yes. years ago, and it killed mm. tens of thousands of people yes, died. It wow. Uh, a 2,000. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, not, not awesome that they died, just awesome that there's this kind of history. You know what I mean? Um, I, there, we did see some tourists here. There's not a lot of tourists because there's no international tourism in Japan, which is why I'm really proud to be able, happy to be able to bring you here uh, and share with you a little bit of, of uh, one of the castles of, of Tohoku. There's a model here that might be the mascot. This <laughs> looks really cool. <laughs> is that a mustache or is, is, is that a gate? I don't know. It's kind of funny. Uh, 
I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I got my fingers crossed that the signal's gonna be okay. We're not allowed to film in the inside of it, but I will maybe cut the live stream and, get, and take you straight to the top, um, which is pretty cool up there. You get a nice view of the city of Aizu Wakamatsu. Is this the tallest building in Aizu Wakamatsu? Still, even today? And it still stood on the foundation, so I think this must be the tallest. Wow. W were and there you any? You can see the good, nice observation deck here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Were there any big battles fought here? Uh, yes, in 1868, there was a very big uh, battle between the old shogun side and the emperor's government side. Uh, like Takamori Saigo, kind uh, of. Takamori a... Saigo is the uh, emperor side, and, uh, and they fought with each other and the emperor side came to this place. Yes, and in 1868, they've got, uh, they've got attacked. Wow, mm. it's the year of the Meiji Restoration. Yes, Meiji Restoration. Who but, won? Yeah, actually, emperor side won. So one month later, they put a sal uh, flag saying surrender. Oh. Mm. But they, they never burned. But later, in 1874, new, new government was afraid this would be the uh, anti-government base. Oh, right. Mm. So it was demolished. The castle? Yes, demolished. Because and of fear? Fear, yes, Whoa. major government feared. And uh, this, uh, this was uh, built in 1965. Uh, 65, mm. the 60s. Yes. So the roof was originally red like originally, this before? Yes, yes. Uh, from the 17th century, it was original color. Red ah. Color. And why was it red? Because of the blood from all the battles? I checked so many books, but they didn't. Maybe red was very rare, so oh. special. Yeah. It's pretty cool to get inside uh, information on this. Hey, Benjamin uh, Nowakowski's here. Humor is awesome, John. Have some sweets and drinks. I'll keep it real. I'm, I am curious, and I do have a, a very, very heavy sense of imagination. And um, I, I have been in this castle a couple of times before. It is a really nice castle to go into, especially since from the observation deck, you do get an amazing view. There aren't too many taller buildings, or this is the tallest structure still in the, t in the city, so. This city, Aizu Wakamatsu, is famous for so many things. Sosukatsu is one of my favorite things. It's like breaded pork cutlet with this amazing uh, tangy sauce all over it on a bed of rice. It's awesome. But they also have some uh, um, uh, really good Japanese sake here, which is extraordinary. Um, the quality of the sake here in Tohoku is incredible. People are, are wasted all the time. I mean, how, how could you not be? So we, we can't film inside, right? Yeah. Oh, we get uh, coronavirus checks. Okay. Konnichiwa. Well, Sanjun... Wow. Atsui kara kamo ne. Sanjun nana. Ah, yeah. It's kind of hot outside. So I was 37.1 degrees. I've heard... Hey, look. Waribiki. It's got a discount here. Cool. So it's about seven dollars to enter uh, for adults now. It's on sale. It is tea room. Oh, with the tea room. Oh, cool. Get you some tea. Oh wait, no. It's, oh, this is with the tea room. So all of these together is seven dollars, seven hundred thirty yen. But one one entry into the castle itself is five hundred and twenty yen for an adult, and if you're a kid, it's one hundred and fifty yen. Kid at heart, not in, not uh, acceptable as currency. You must, if your kid, look like one. Not act like one. <laughs> it's a problem. Oh, stroller yard! So, that's kind of cool. So that means um, uh, Leo can come here, my son. He's like three months old and learn about how, how to wield a sword. Oh, there you could dress up as a samurai in here too. They even have the wigs where that looks like you shaved your head. I remember I came in here and tried the armor. It's awesome. Here is the ticket and what it looks like here. That's cool. Tsuruga Castle entrance ticket. Um, 
Oh, hey, it's a discounted 410 yen. Hey. Very cool. Uh, I visited Matsumoto, Himeji, and Hikone Castle. The Hikone is, is a beautiful castle near, near Lake Biwa in the center. Um, we'll maybe visit Tsuruga when I'm allowed to visit in 2025, 2055. -ish. I think it's going to be a little bit, little bit sooner than that. I'm doing fine, everybody. How you doing? All right, so I actually have to do um, another filming, but yeah. So uh, the, from the observation deck, we can we can film again from Gokai Kara. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this up and go directly to the fifth floor, and then I'll fill you in on the information. So give us about two minutes, and uh, I will live stream again from the top. Is that okay? Hey, John Haynes is here. Hey, John. And Tom Servo, uh, thank you so much, Tom. All right, so I'm gonna cut the live stream and I will bring you back in about two minutes from the fifth floor. I move pretty quickly, I can move pretty quickly. Yeah, they're like ninja ladders, so it's, yeah. it's very hard to climb up without falling down. But we wanna respect the laws here, so. Because there are samurai with swords that will probably destroy us. All right, the, even the entrance of it looks like it's going into a cave. That's a tough entrance. All right. I will see you in two minutes. Just, just hang on and, and uh, I'll be back. Welcome. We are back. Thanks for hanging on. We had to go through some floors that don't allow filming uh, to bring you up to the castle. We're now on the fourth floor, right? Yonkai Yeah. Strong woman. Yo, this is the Yai, Yai-san. Nijima Yai born. This is a very strong woman. This lady could destroy us. Yeah, I am panting because it was quite a ride. Quite a run. Uh, Nijima Yai was born to a family of artillery instructors. instructors. Despite being a woman just during that time, she mastered the use of several firearms. Awesome. She even fought in the Boshin War using guns. After the war, she moved to Kyoto and married Nijima Jo, the founder of Really? Doshi, Doshisha University. I know that university. She also became a nurse and was awarded a medal for her efforts. Awesome. It's a strong lady. So in the Meiji era, people used guns, not swords, right? Uh, Meiji era, uh, they used guns. But actually, in the 16th century, 17th centuries, we used guns. But mm. it's very old type. Ah. Gun came to Japan in 16th century. But it's very old style. But the Meiji government used the state of the art, Western. Right. Uh, yes, it was much stronger. Oh, yeah. I saw in uh, the Tom Cruise uh, Last yes, Samurai, yes. they had like machine guns. Yes, yes, yes. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I think so. Really? <laughs> I, I'm not so sure about the machine gun, but yeah. At some point, it's based on the true story. All right. Tell me honestly, was that movie accurate? Did you see the movie and was it a good movie? <laughs> I think. It says about the agony of the samurai. So agony of the samurai have, having to change and uh, uh, gave up their status as a samurai. Yeah. So it, it, in a sense, it's a true, but uh, it's a drama movie. Mm. So it's made to more in interesting. That's right. Yes. I, w I, I thought it was a bad movie when Tom Cruise <laughs> wore his boots to go to see the emperor on tatami. Uh, uh, yes, yes, you remember yes. that? He had his boots on and he went in to go see the emperor. Yeah. He, he, you have to take your boots off, Tom. I mean, not even the producers told him that. I'm not sure that that, that really happened. Hey, WXR Troopers in the house, and welcome Heir to the Ron. It was nice to see Tom with Koyuki. Koyuki-san was so very, very beautiful. Thank you, John. All right, we're inside of Tsuruga Castle in Aizu Wakamatsu, Fukushima, and... Um, now we're going up these. These are not ninja steps. So they built these steps in 1960. I think 1965. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's it's a little bit different than uh, the original castle. They had wood steps probably. So if there's so this castle did okay in the uh, earthquake ten years ago. No damage. Uh, but actually, when you see the wall, 
it was very white, beautiful. Yeah. And uh, after the wall got damaged. Oh, so the walls. The, the Oh, so there was some repairs to the castle after the earthquake 10 years ago. Yes. All right, we're at the, at the top of the observation deck, and this looks beautiful. Look at this. Oh, we got some wind to make your audio experience even better. Whoa. Wow. So you can tell it's not Edo Jidai anymore. <laughs> this is all these concrete buildings. So the view from up here, it's, it's, a, it's different. But this building, is this an original building here? This is the dojo. Dojo, uh, there's special art, this place. I think maybe not original, but this is a Budokan. They try practice the martial art. Oh, cool. And actually, yeah. so there is a, a martial school here in this castle. Uh, area. Thank you, Robot Tayaki from Tahiti. Awesome. Michael Sasano is back in the house. Thank you for taking us to Wakamatsu Castle tour. You're very welcome. I actually did naginata in here with some old ladies. Yeah, and they kicked my butt. They were tough old ladies. Yeah, so women, women could do naginata uh, here in Aizu Wakamatsu. It was very famous. Um, the female samurai, is. there was such a thing. They were really brave warriors, the, the ladies of, of Aizu Wakamatsu. So there's a lot of history with some women kicking some butt here. So let me take you around. I'm gonna take you around a, a little bit from this observation deck. And if we have some more history, I will... Um, we're at the top of where we were. I started this live stream right there. If you, if you don't remember, you gotta watch the playback. I showed you that map and we walked up here. Now we're on the top of the fifth floor. How cool is that? I'm gonna pan up now from where we started the live stream, give you a better view. But if you do come to uh, Tohoku, definitely put Aizu Wakamatsu on the map here. Um, because, like, for me, this is, they call this Samurai City. There's a lot of history uh, in this town. And the sake here is worth it just for that. <laughs> I came for the sake, but the history surprised me. Okay, can I say that? Yeah, I came for the sake, but the history surprised me. Some people come for the history and the sake surprises them, but... In the end, the food is, is amazing here. There's something, I guess because there's rice patties all around. You can see just on the other side here, loads of rice patties. And mountains. And it's cooler here compared to Tokyo. It's a little bit cooler. Um, it's about 5 degrees Celsius or was it 10 degrees Fahrenheit cooler here. Something like that. For every 5 degrees Celsius, it's 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So 32 is 0. And then... 9 degrees is, is uh, 41 is 5 degrees. Oh, hell, is that works? 5 degrees Celsius is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. 50 degrees Fahrenheit is 10 degrees Celsius. 59 degrees Fahrenheit is 15 degrees Celsius. Do you see how it works? It's pretty easy. Angel Forever 59, thank you for the live tour. I still need a castle in person. This, it is cool. Now, a lot of them are reconstructions. This one is a reconstruction from the 1960s, but... They made it in the original colors, meaning they, they preserved the original colors of the roof here, which is red. And uh, our guy doesn't know exactly why the red color is, why it was done in red, but um, it, I'm glad that they kept that as a little detail. It just makes it special. Maybe it's from the iron. It looks like it was made from iron that rusted, maybe. I, I can't think of any other uh, way that this could be um, red. It looks like it's made of metal. So the roof is made of, of iron? Maybe that's why it was red? Yes, iron powder. Iron powder, so that's what makes it red, probably. The, the iron um, with water rusting it a little bit. So it means if you take bow and arrow and you try to shoot this castle, just like we go boink, boink, and just bounce right off it. That's awesome. Ah, so we discovered the answer. That's, that's, we just made history here. We discovered the answer. Yeah. I'm a student of iron. I love the, how they make, used iron on the roof here. I, I was going to say, like, there has to be a reason why it's red. So, good job, Ronald, for that adding. Look at this courtyard here. I, I don't have too much more time, but I, I really am happy that I have some, a chance to share with you. Now, I made a video here for the old channel, um, the 
Hiroshima spy story. And I, I ran through here at top speed, escaping women with naginata, like uh, long swords. And I came around the corner and I was huffing and puffing right here with a fake uh, finger gun. That was kind of funny. Um, just, <laughs> you, had, you had to be there. Um, but yeah, the, the view from the castle is so worth it just for $4. Um, or just watch only in Japan go, it's free. Stunning. Uh, I'm, like, can I tell you really quickly before I go? Just really quickly. Um, tonight, I made a reservation at the onsen for 11 p.m. I'm going to take you um, into the Japanese bath. Um, we got access to do this. I've been waiting to, to bring you uh, live into a, a, a famous Japanese hot spring for a long time. This town has amazing hot springs. It's called Higashiyama Onsen. And there's a couple of really, really amazing yokan. I'm staying at one of them. Uh, the rest of this group is staying at a, at a cheap hotel down the street. <laughs> Be careful. We're getting a little bit of the VIP service, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to take you in the bath with me at 11 p.m. tonight, which is uh, 10 a.m. on uh, the East Coast in the United States and 7 a.m. from California. So hope that you guys can tune in for that. And I'll, I'll do a room tour for insiders uh, to say thank you for all the people who are members of... Uh, uh, only in Japan go. I, I'm so appreciative for travelers and members who, who make this channel um, I don't know a, more a, able to do more stuff because I have a little bit more as a result It's much appreciated And maybe I'll do a Q&A from our patreon supporters in the room It's always cool when you're in a yukata you know, Japanese style and showing you the room with some sake in the room It's like you're here with me hanging out in Japan. That's that's kind of the way I want it to feel like because I'm by myself, so you guys are my friends. Kanai and Leo are back home. All right, so there you go. That, that's what the castle looks like here. Um, it's cool to be up here at elevation. You could feel the wind. It probably kept you cooler too in the olden days. It's, it's, it must have been uh, like a furnace up here. Uh, uh, Fukushima just bottles in the heat in the summer. Uh, all of Japan uh, from July to, to August is so humid, so hot, it's, it's oppressive. You're gonna see this in the Olympics, like why they made the Olympics in, in uh, you know, July and August, I have no idea. 1964 was in October because of the heat. So we're gonna find that out. You all are gonna find that out. NBC is gonna find that out. <laughs> the, whole, the whole heat thing is gonna become NBC's worst nightmare. Yeah. 3Rick G just wanted to say thanks for the vids. Thank you. I love all your content. It's great. I'm just so happy that I can, sh I can bring you here just for uh, 20 minutes or so. Okay. Arimashita. All right. So we're going to finish up here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of uh, the castle here in Aizu Wakamatsu. Uh, I'll see you in the next live stream, probably tonight, maybe for lunch. We have an awesome lunch. Um, definitely subscribe. I might just go live instantly, but tonight at 11.30 p.m. Japan time, I'll be in the onsen bath naked. Just fingers crossed that this camera doesn't pan down or something because you can't wear anything in the onsen bath. Bye-bye from Tsuruga Castle, Aizu Wakamatsu, Fukushima. Angel Forever 59X, thank you again. And WX Turbo always appreciate all of you guys. Make sure you click that like button. See you next time.